guys doing? Good, good. Although Sean might be... Guy's huge. You feel like like a Warriors Lakers rivalry, you know, it's kind of a sleeping giant for the league. I mean, neither it's kind of, both teams have never been like really good at the same. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I mean, Bay of LA in any sport is always great. And it will definitely carry over to basketball, that's for sure. Do you feel like there is kind of that workout SoCal rivalry vibe? I mean, maybe it hasn't been in the NBA. Oh, no, no question. question. The music, the art, movies. Destination. There's always a uh, NorCal, so SoCal uh, debate, and that's what makes it so great. Do you remember being a part of it? Or story about that at all? Yeah, growing up, definitely. Definitely. Whether it was high school sports, pro sports, musicians, athletes, you always uh, had a debate where the talent was at. Growing up a huge Kobe fan, how weird has it been seeing LeBron in a Lakers uniform? I think it's pretty cool. I don't think you would have guessed it when he was with the Cavs. It started his rookie season, but it's adding a ton of interest in the league. And um, the Lakers are back to get the you know, usual media coverage that I was used to growing up. What do you think their potential is, is considering the offense and the young one they have? Definitely expected to make the playoffs just because I think the young guys will take a huge leap. They usually, usually do from your second or third year. I expect them, yeah, to be an absolute playoff contention, championship contention. I'm not sure. It takes, it takes, uh, you gotta wait to see. Yeah, it takes a lot of work. So you go back to the moments that you guys obviously faced in the last five years. How does the intensity level in the games against him change compared to anybody else? Well, um, the times we've seen him, he's always been at the top of the East during the finals, so. Those games are always intense. And, um, you know, I assume he, I expect him to, you know, greatly improve the Lakers. And they obviously got a bunch of guys who are proven now. So uh, I just expect it to be intense. I mean, anytime you play against arguably the best player in the world, no matter what sport, you want to measure yourself against him. So you play as hard as you can. And that's why the guys like, you know, Steph, KD, Kobe. Uh, LeBron, James Harden, any TP type guys face their opponent's best game every night, so it would be no different when they play Lakers. But if you don't mind, just a couple of big picture questions. Uh, how do you maintain regular season motivation when you know, it's, it's all about winning titles? And, I mean, you get this every year, but uh, does it get harder, you know, after another title to come back and do it all over again? Uh, I don't think so, because as I get older, I realize that people love to come watch us play and they pay their hard earned money to come see us entertain them. So I don't want to cheat anybody out of a ticket by uh, not playing hard every night. Our job is pretty simple compared to what people really have to do for work. So we can give them that escape and give them some joy in their life. That's what motivates me to go out there for 82 games. It's just a, uh, and especially being a lashing oracle. So I want to soak up every minute of it and just enjoy it every day while it lasts. Yeah, that was my next question, actually. How much yeah. of that? I know it's big for you. I mean, is that something that you, talk, you guys talk about in terms of just being winning a championship in the last year? Definitely. I mean, Steve mentioned it in our first meeting of the season, um, just about playing for the people of Oakland and, and the East Bay who might not have the access in the next coming years. So um, if we can get them a fourth title in 58, five years, <laughs> I'll be complaining about relocation, but uh, um, like I said before, just yeah, not cheat anyone out of a, a good show and uh, doing it for the city of Oakland because they've been loyal for 40 plus years. Wait, when more and more teams shoot the threes every year, it seems like you, know, you go back a few years and like if a guy made 200 threes, that was a ton of threes. Yeah. And then you get the three, Steph got the four. I mean, do you see how far this thing can go? Can you imagine like 500 or something like that? Or that would be insane. Um, I mean, shooters just getting better. The shooting the NBA is pretty amazing right now. And, you know, I remember 200, you'd probably lead the league. And uh, now that's just normal for a great shooter. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I enjoy it because it, the spacing is so good and just shows off your athleticism. So it's only going to, you know, the fad's only going to grow, I feel like. Thank you, Clay. No problem. Thanks, Clay.